Santa came a little early for 40 women in Marquette County. Fox UP reporter Rachel Droz tells us about the grassroots group behind the gifts tonight. Hi. Hi nice yeah. to see you. Oh. <laughs> I hadn't thought of it before. It was always there from when I was a kid and then I was married. I just had a stocking and when it was just not there, it, it was just that realization. A change to a simple Christmas tradition a few years ago planted the seed for what today supplied 40 women with over $10,000 worth of gifts. Between October and now, Sister Stockings transformed from an idea in Monet Chartier's head to reality. I just thought there's got to be other women out there feeling that loss and that grief and trying to put on a Christmas and have it feel like enough and constantly battle self-doubt. Chartier began by reaching out to a group on Facebook, asking people to nominate women who deserve something for themselves this Christmas. The nominations started rolling in, and so did the donations. 40 stockings were handmade in November, then stuffed to the brim with gifts meant to pamper the recipient, who has no idea they're getting the gift. The whole idea is that she gets to take a quiet moment in the midst of a hard season, uh, maybe she's by herself, maybe she doesn't have her kids this, th this day, and she gets to just unwrap each gift and, um, and just enjoy pampering herself. About 20 women volunteered to hand deliver the stockings to the moms. I am here because you were nominated to receive a sister stocking. I always tell people you can't take care of others if you don't take care of yourself. So I really hope that with this, they take a little bit of time for themselves. With this year's success, Chartier is already starting to plan for next year. I wanted to acknowledge these women and say we see you. What you're doing is amazing and you are enough. Rachel Droz, Foxy P News, Marquette.